The Sacred Music Symposium is a gathering of the Catholic faithful um, and all people of goodwill that have an interest in the sacred music of the Western tradition, Gregorian chant, and of Renaissance polyphony. It's a gathering of people coming together for instruction, for fellowship, but I think at the heart of it, it's really a celebration. The Eucharist is the source and the summit of our Christian life. And so everything you do is important at the liturgy. Sacred music has the same goal as the liturgy, which is to glorify God and to raise our minds and hearts to Him. Beauty is a very important piece uh, of our tradition. Beauty, of course, created beauty, so in the arts, in paintings, in music, those glimpses of beauty that we see are really reflections uh, of the ultimate beauty, uh, which is God. I think at the heart of our program is really training in Gregorian chant. Chant is a really easy music to get into, and it's especially good for singing in groups. It brings people together just by singing it. It's supposed to sound like one voice. All of the individual musicians, they all make their unique contribution, but the totality of the sound is one voice. Last year was great, but this year is going to be even better. We have more classes, more time, more sessions, more teachers, more levels of classes, so we can find something that's just right for everyone. We're not expecting everyone to come with the same amount of background or experience, so we have classes for absolute beginners, we've got some chant sessions for everybody to learn how to use chant in English or in Latin. We want to make sure that every musician who comes to the symposium is able to take home repertoire and techniques that they can use at their own parish. The second thing that, that we're really kind of focusing on in the symposium is, is the notion of, of fellowship. The community aspect um, I found to be a very welcoming atmosphere. The other altos and sopranos I found it to be as treating me like a younger sister in a way in that they were kind of helping me and guiding me with the music. You can bounce ideas off of each other and hey have you sung this piece before? How did you deal with this kind of thing? What we're hoping to accomplish is to bring everyone together here um, to let them learn from each other, to let them be inspired by other people uh, in their classrooms, not only the speakers, but also maybe your neighbor who's sitting with you at, at the dinner, or maybe it's somebody in your parish um, who you came with. It's really to share what is our shared patrimony. Being a church musician is a really special job. We exercise an authentic ministry within worship. So what we do as musicians in worship has to be built around prayer. And it has to be a personal devotion for us. The final mass, um, how the different choirs had their own parts that were unique, yet um, were able to contribute to um, the beauty of the liturgy. There was a unity that was available for everyone. Making music with each other and blending with each other and and experiencing it all together. It's, it's just stunningly beautiful. It's basically heaven in your church. There's nothing quite like it. Misericordia.